what is up guys and welcome to another video all about waterfalls not that kind of waterfall no unity waterfalls this video is a follow-on from the video i made about getting your unity ads installed into your unity project just going to really butt in at the start of the video if there's any challenge that you guys want to set me or any particular video or you're unsure about how to do something within unity let me know and let me give you the let me have the opportunity to show you and help you develop your game look forward to hearing from you let me know in the comments below hit that subscribe and that like button and let's start growing a community thank you so what are waterfalls how can they benefit you and why should you do them to put it simply waterfalls can increase your overall ECPM rates which in turn increases your revenue of your apps ads so what we're going to want to do is if we head over to our unity dashboard make sure we are selected on the project and we click on over into monetization it should be met with this screen just here now for the sense of this particular example I'm going to start a whole new fresh I'm just going to create a new uh, ad unit I'm just going to call this uh, water, waterfall yes. with the platform being for Android. Now, at this point, just select which one you're going to be doing, either rewarded, basic, or banner. For the sake of this, I'm going to show you guys how to do the rewarded, but it's the same process for the other, for the other two. So if we're just going to regularly create that, there's the one just there, and it says we've got, we've got no waterfalls attached to it. Now, what's quite handy is the fact that these that you can have multiple wolf waterfalls attached to one app unit id now i'm just going to regularly add that into the code just here where we're going to change that into our project just there now i remade this video about three times um and i've not been happy with how the way the way it's come out or the way i've explained it so hopefully this is the final one going back to the dashboard then we're then going to head on down to mediation, this bit just here. Add sources. Now, I suggest signing up to a range to a couple of these. Now, the way this works in the mediation aspect of it and the waterfall aspect of it is traditionally you would only be able to take Unity ads. And if you installed Unity ads in the SDK, you were only able to get ads that ran through Unity. With the help of mediation, uh, you are then able to take ads from Google Ad Mobs, Ad Colony, Vungle, Meta, and they all bid uh, to be shown on your app. Now that benefits you because that increases your ECPM, which then increases your revenue. You can also analyze and see which ad companies are doing the best or through your app. I will actively consistently hitting that that the higher goal for you and you can also adapt it you can do a to b testing so you can see just here i've got unity ad colony google ad mobs and meta or all, all currently signed up for uninstalled now app 11 iron source and bungle there's no reason why i haven't done that, those yet uh just but for this project i'm going to be showing unity ad colony and google ad mobs so what we're going to do, if we head on over to all waterfalls, now because I've created a new ad unit, I'm going to create a new waterfall. This is just so you can see how it is out of the box and how it should look if you were to click on Android reward. Now we're going to set the ad format as rewarded because this is what the waterfall we want to work with. Now where is this geo target? Uh, for this is this, I am just going to put global, but this is where you can add multiple waterfalls to your app unit ID. So if you wanted to target um, US separately to the way you wanted to target uh, the UK or Africa or Antarctica, um, then you can set up as many waterfalls as you want that target those particular area. There is one massive caveat to that is you cannot have an area overlap so what they mean by that is if you have one set to UK and then you create another waterfall which is global which is just the global one just here 
it will throw back an error because that is overlap because you're trying to target two waterfalls to the uk one which is global and one which is uk and that is that is a no-no so if the answer is this we are just going to put global and then where it says select add unit i'm just going to create the one which we just created which was the uh, waterfall app test so we just create that so this is the screen that we're met with now this is also a screen that if you wasn't to create one and you just went into the android rewarded this is also the screen that you likely would have got so you've got the option of either bidding now this is the most simplest way of setting up your sources all this is is if you add the different sources so your unity your ad colony your meta and your vungle they will quite literally bid uh, amongst themselves in order to show their advert so rather than just having unity say yep i've done this this advert here this that's fixed whatever admob could come along and say actually I'm gonna bid a bit, bit slightly higher. Then Bungle, Bungle come along. Go, uh, you know, I'll, um, I'll, um, I'll bid a, a little bit higher because they want their ad shown. They want to get paid in the day, as as do we, and that benefits us because that takes out all the hard work of us having to test and everything. And essentially, we just get them to bid amongst themselves. Now, I did say Google Ad Mobs. Unfortunately, they don't. They're not supported by you by Unity Mediation yet. Um. So between the Vungle, Ad, Colony and Meta and Unity, uh, they will fight amongst themselves to be shown on your advert, on your app. Uh, which is, like I said, the simplest way of doing it. Uh, so if we wanted to add, let's say Ad Colony, for example, um, you can get the app, the app ID by heading on over to uh, adcolony.com. Uh, you would just need to set up a new app if you haven't already done that. But it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, just create it. Then if we click on to mediation, this is the app ID. So the ad colony app UUID. We just need to copy it, copy that and put that into this box just here. And then the zone ID is just in the ad zone, which is that zone just there. So we copy that add that into here click save there we go so that now acts as one of the bidding sources and we could do the exact same thing for bungle and meta it's quite simple just go onto dashboards and you'll be able to get there uh, this one here is a placement id in the app id and then also for bungle uh, you just need to get in there the ip you need to set up an account there again now what is also important to know is if you've got, for example, Ad Colony up in bidding, you cannot have them again in the ECPM target. It's very much going to be a case of one or the other. Either you're bidding and you've got people who are bidding to bidding amongst themselves to show the app, or you've got a manual ECPM target. Now, this is where you set it up so you can you know effectively target it yourself for example if we go over to documentation and we go over to the best practices this is a this is a very good chart as to show you how unity themselves recommend you doing it now where it's got network a b c d those are all your different uh networks so your different ad sources so you add line in line item and you get access to six different ad sources. Now, when we click to add in a uh, line item, if we go to Google Ad Mob, and we click OK on there, now this line item can be however way you want to do it. So I've done it before as the Ad Mob High. And then if we do that as $50. Now, this Ad Unit ID, this is Ad Mob's app add unit id so if we click so if we go over to google ad mobs click on apps and head on over to 
our project. Now I made all this in the previous video, so if you uh, are confused by this, head bomb back over and you'll see how we created the app. Then if we click on over to add units, uh, we'll just remove that one very quickly. There we go. So at this point, what we'll do is we'll click on, click on get started. We'll go with rewarded. Enter the add unit name, which is going to be test Android rewarded. Add that reward amount is completely irrelevant. Add reward item again. Apply. This is where we can just optimize some stuff. There you go. Create add unit ID. This here is the app ID. So we copy that now. Head on back to the add unit ID. We can then click save. Now Unity allow you to add up to three of the Google ad mobs and basically three of each different source apart from Unity. Unity you can have as many as you want. I think it's up to a, up to a maximum of 100 across all of the different ones. So if you have three I each of them, then you'll have 80, 80 whatever, let's say 80. Uh, slots to be able to mess about with the unity ones and if we head on back over to the best practices You can see just there you can target it quite high and then you can have it kind of go go, go down quite low and After you've been after the app's been live for a little bit and you're reviewing your data You can see just here the fact that out of all of this the ones that are doing quite well Realistically is going to be the network B they're getting the highest rate of impressions they're getting the highest fill rate and then also requests. So if I was reviewing this data, what I'll do is I'll kind of maybe make them around about around about those those numbers there. So kind of uh, split up less of a break between uh, 140 and 200. So I'll probably be looking around about 160, 170. And then I'll also be doing around about uh, between 135 to 200. Uh, just to see if we can maximize any more out of that gap there. But that, that, that's how I would do it. And you need to be proactive with remediation. You need to be reviewing it. You need to be adapting it. And just looking at your data really. Um, now one thing you are going to notice. If you do try to add another line with exactly the same. Uh, add ID. We're going to go with add mob medium. Let's just say we'll go with 30 there. We're going to click save. We're going to get an error. Line items cannot be completed. Please correct the error below. The, this ID is already in use. Please you create a unique ID. So every single time uh, you want to add a sec uh, second one up to a maximum of three, you have to create another add unit. So we're going to call this a uh, test reward to create the add unit, copy that, whack that beast in here, click save. Uh, right, we go. right, so if we copy that on over now, head on over here, whack save. And there we go. We've got a second one in there now. Now the alternative way of doing that, if you've got all, if if you've got these activated, don't necessarily have to have all of them. Uh, but the other way of doing it is if you go over to CSV Tools and download an empty template. So now that's loaded. This is a bulk document. This enables you to be able to uh, do to add in a load of these without having to. Click in here, click in to add colony, click on next, fill out all that. You can do quite simply do this in an Excel spreadsheet. So for example here, just to go over a little bit of an example, if I was to do, uh, let's say between Unity and add more, I wanted to go for between five and fifty dollars as a as a target. Uh, this is how I'd go about it. I'd utilize the fact that Unity we can we can put in a load of them. 
and then I'll, I'll, I'll fit in the add mob uh, kind of towards the the higher bracket giving that little bit of a less um, and then I would then review the data and I'd see which ones are performing well the ones which aren't I'll just get rid of them uh, until we've got around about let's say 10 chilling on our mediation list so just remember the fact then that the add mob unit ID we just need to make sure they're, they're unique every single time otherwise it will not work so if we go back to our mediation now so the way this works I'm sure I haven't actually said how the ECPM target line works is when you load a request for an advert it will first off go to Google Ad Mobs and say, hey mate, you got any for $50? Google Ad Mobs will say no. So we'll go back to them and say, oh mate, you got anything for 30? Then again, then they may say yes, at which point uh, we will then display the advert that was around about, for like, around about that, that target. But likewise, again, if they were to say no, then we go to Unity and go, hey mate, you got one for $20 and vice versa. So it literally, it waterfalls down. So it says no, no, yeah, or yeah, and just kind of generally works that way. So that's how you add your different lines. Um, each one's going to have you slightly differently. So your app level and your iron source and your vungle. Add colony is the same idea as the top. However, if you've got sp if you've got add col add add colony in bidding. You cannot have them in ECPM target. So, if you're looking to between the two, if you're looking to uh, just the simplest way of doing it, then just go down the route of bidding. Um, but the caveat to that is you don't have as many options. And with Google Ad, Ad Moms being one of the biggest things, adding on their CP, ECPM target, I think, is a good thing. And running all willing to actually sit there and review the data um, every few weeks to months and tweak it, then doing it all manually through the ECPM target would definitely be the way to go. They do give you the analytical data just there. So, yeah, uh, you do have the ECPM backfill. Uh, this is just an automated version of this, basically, uh, where it just tries to figure out out amongst itself. I haven't ever added anything to this section. I've always really done it between that one. Um, I've give, given bidding a bit of a go, um, but it's mainly I've just been playing about with this, uh, the, the, the manual aspect of it. So yeah, that is, I mean, that's the waterfall aspect of it. In a, I'd probably say covered about a 60% uh, you know, coverage of it. So next up really is going to be testing out these working. Now the trouble is in my experience of me testing it when you've got when you're in test mode and you've installed via the Unity dashboard then it will only, then if you're in test mode it will only show Unity ads. When you come out of test mode give it a week once the app has been deployed, once you've hit in, once you've hit around about a thousand uh, impressions, then it should then up down here, and you'll be able to see the fact then that how often the Google Ad Mobs are, are, are getting shown. If they're not, then I'd probably say just lower your target down a little bit, or even better yet, disable just as a just as a mediary test. Disable the Unity ads. Yeah, so disable the Unity ads just here. So then the only ones that are being targeted are, of course, your ECPM targets. Now, I've tried to find different ways to explain this. I believe this is probably the most simplest way of explaining it. However, if I've confused you more or you've got more, more questions, please let me know and I'll do my best to re-explain it. Uh, to yourself and yeah we'll um, we will go from there thank you very much for listening to this video and i'll see you later